Here's a question for you. Is there a cat in this box? You don't know, right? Now, if a tree falls in the forest and no one is around to witness, does it fall? You don't know, right? If over two billion trees fall in the world's jungles and forests every year, and we do not witness, do they really fall? If hundreds of thousands of species go extinct in the natural reserves around the world every year, and we do not witness, do they really go extinct? Well, we don't know. The problem is that the biodiversity that sustains our life is invisible to us, and it shouldn't be. I am Christopher Cordova, and my life's purpose is protecting natural reserves around the world. And that's why I'm in a mission to help advance and help make visible the still invisible biodiversity as soon as possible. Artificial intelligence will save biodiversity. Yes, of course, one possible option is by taking power and eradicating humans from the planet. Problem solved. But come on, there is another way. By making visible the still invisible biodiversity, by helping us see, hear, and know what is going on in the world's natural reserves. Some decades ago, the television made us realize the horrors of wars that were too far away for us to care about. So it made visible problems happening far away from us. Then the internet made us realize that sometimes we are quite similar, we can be quite similar to someone on the other side of the planet. And then, of course, it made us realize that sometimes we can be too different from someone sitting next to us. So the internet made visible the human with our similarities and our differences. And artificial intelligence will make visible the still invisible ecosystems in real time. Artificial intelligence will undeniably rule our lives. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. And most importantly, it's a matter of how. It can be in partnership with us or in spite of us. It can be it controlling and guiding our hands towards everything we buy, everything we choose, and everything we want. Or it can be us using it as a tool to help us solve the challenges of our time. 200 years ago, my hero, Alexander von Humboldt, hoped that one day there would be a way to know how things were connected in nature, how this forest is connected to one 1,000 kilometers away, how this type of flower is linked to that particular river, how is this little shiny insect linked to us. And now, with artificial intelligence, we are at the doorstep of achieving the creation of that powerful tool. I have the dream of help advance Humboldt's dream. The plan goes like this. Please let me know how it sounds. One, we deploy microphones, cameras, sensors, and drones in natural reserves. And then we get satellite images from those same areas. Then we analyze the data with the help of machine learning, which is basically like computers who eat clean, healthy data and become stronger and faster. With a little time and a lot of magic happening in the form of algorithm training, cloud computing and deep learning, computers being computers, we can understand the difference between the sound of an animal and that of a gunshot from an illegal hunter, and between the form of the leaves of a tree 
and others. And we can identify the risks for the natural reserves, be it illegal hunting, illegal logging, wildfires, unchecked lakes, and many more. For example, imagine that we can forecast, analyze, and react to natural disasters on time. The wildfires in Australia burned in 2019 and 2020 nearly the size of the UK and costed over $70 billion. The global cost of natural disasters in 2019 was over $150 billion, and in 2020, it was over $200 billion. Imagine that we can make transparent the management of public and private natural reserves around the world. Imagine that we can measure the impact of conservation projects in real time. No more estimates, only solid data driving decisions. Wait, there is more. Two, creating a global knowledge platform so that governments, companies, students and experts from all over the world can share lessons learned, technology and knowledge to help extend the use of AI tools for nature conservation and protection. Global forums, online content, augmented reality content available to us all. Three, bringing all that information from all those sources to a giant global data lake. A data lake is exactly what it sounds like. A lot of data put together that help us train AI algorithms, which is basically help AI learn to learn from the information it is given. And that help us improve the tools for the natural reserve stakeholders and fuel a 3D and 4D model of the world called the Spatial Web, which is an extraordinary effort led by the Spatial Web Foundation and Versus Labs. A quick note on their amazing work. The first internet was the one where some computers in a building were connected. The second one is the one we have now, the World Wide Web. The third one will be 3D and 4D, a digital twin of the world. Imagine a digital model of the world where we can see what is happening in nature. If we can see and hear what is going on in the natural reserves, we can act and we can stop denying. And we can measure the changes, calculate the risks and profit from the opportunities. And we can make the hidden problems transparent to us all and drag the obscure into the light. Imagine the impact of spotting the wildfires in time, on time. Imagine that we can know where the illegal hunting and logging are happening, where carbon dioxide is being captured by nature the most, and where is pollution hitting nature worst. Intense? This is happening. This plan is called AI for Climate and Victoria Artificial intelligence and we are currently collaborating with over 20 institutions around the world to make this happen when i was eight i learned about climate change the hard way with a flood that separated me from my grandparents from for some time in my hometown later that year i made my first environmental project in my school. After that, I had so much to say that when I was 15, a university published my first book. And after that, 20 more books have followed. Before I turned 30, I had seen the effects of biodiversity loss and climate change in collapsing ecosystems in over 30 countries. And after what I have seen, I want to share with you that hope must be ours. You cannot let anyone take it away from you. But action must also be ours. Hope 
without action is illusion. I'm thinking that our species is safe when all other can be endangered is an illusion too. Climate change, climate instability is a nightmare. But silently we have been nurturing another lethal storm, biodiversity loss. Humanity has known what a famine coming from the land can be like. Bad crops, wars, natural disasters, altering food production. But we have not known what a famine coming from the world's oceans can be like. The situation is extreme. Please don't let anyone tell you that we are not going to a cliff. But also, please, please don't let anyone tell you that your actions do not count. And as a proof that your actions count, and very much, here there are two things you can do today to help protect our biodiversity. One, write letters or emails to your authorities. Ask them to increase the funding for natural reserves. Ask them if they're considering the inclusion of technology to automate the monitoring of those reserves. Two, help your family and friends write letters to your authorities. Help even the children in your family write their letters. Show the authorities that we care, that we don't want to keep ignoring the missing trees, the missing animals and the missing species. Show them we care. Artificial intelligence is going fast. It will add trillions of dollars to the world economy in the following years. And yet, we don't have a global agreement to regulate it. At this point, it's as if we are hoping that someday the AI companies will regulate themselves. But as we wait for that global consensus to arrive, and believe me, this will soon be as problematic as regulating nuclear weapons and nuclear energy, what we cannot afford to miss is the opportunity to use AI for nature protection and conservation. Do you remember that I told you that the television and the internet made visible some big problems that were invisible before? Well, the question is, now that you know that artificial intelligence will make visible what is happening in the ecosystems, what will we do with that knowledge? To make visible the invisibles, we need data. And for that, we need gadgets that get the data from the ecosystems. And then, of course, we need AI to help us analyze that information. And then we need the will of our authorities to act on the information we are providing about the risks the natural reserves are facing. And yes, you're right. The hardest part in this equation is the will to act. Will we act or will we look away? Will you write to your authorities? The only way, the only way that will can be sustainable and resilient is by making this so transparent that it becomes impossible not to take a stand, that it becomes politically incorrect not to act on the data we are all seeing, that it becomes hard to look away. I am inclined to believe that once we have the information, we will act. I believe in us. I choose to believe that there is a very natural intelligence in us all that will advise us against not doing anything, that will tell us what is right. I think that all these years of evolution and history will count for something. I choose to believe that this very natural intelligence in us all will advise us against ignoring the data, against jumping off the cliff. And that it will remind us from now until we make it to write letters to our authorities and ask them to increase the funding for natural reserves and to automate the monitoring of those reserves. I believe that if we went so far as to create something so powerful 
as artificial intelligence, now we must use it for good. But, in case of doubt, just remember that artificial intelligence will save biodiversity anyway, and that for those crazy, powerful robots and computers, one option on the table still is by killing us all. Just kidding. Now, humans, let's do our best. <laughs>